Right now I've got two sprites. Uh, the first one is the background right here, and the next one is a player, and I've changed his size to make him the appropriate size. And then inside the draw loop, I've got two ifs. One, if you press the right key, I'll show you that does this. And one, if you press the left key, which does this. And that's all we've got so far. The only problem is when you go off the screen, uh, well, you can't tell what's happening anymore, so you sort of lose the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it where when you press left, he goes left. So I'm going to take this guy and duplicate him and flip him. And now I'll rename this one right and rename this one left. And then inside my ifs, I'll grab one of these set animations for each one. The right one gets right, and the left player gets left, and up here on the original one, let's change that to right since I renamed it. So now when I press right and left, he will look in the direction he's going. That's better. Um, now to deal with the background, what I'd really rather do is instead of left and right moving the character, I want to move the background image instead. So, um, first I'll just change these player.x equals player.x plus something to the background's name, which I just called BG. So let's try that. So now you can see the background is moving, but it's moving the wrong way. It makes it look like he's moonwalking everywhere he goes. So you just need to uh, flip them so that it goes in the opposite direction. Now it's a little confusing. Try that. Okay, so now it looks like it's working. And it looks like it's working the other way. Only thing is when you run out of the image, like notice this big uh, butterfly right here in the front, in the original image, is at the end of it, right? So when you come over here and you run it, when you get right past the big butterfly, everything starts repeating. Like you sort of lose control because you're off the image. So the first thing to do, um, well there's a couple things you could do. You can make another background that starts as soon as this one finishes. Uh, I can show you what that looks like. We could just copy these two and make them BG2. Uh, we can even give it the same background. Uh, and then since this one's at 400, we can put this one at 800 maybe. Uh, let's see if we can tell what's happening. So there's the dead spot. I don't think that worked. Oh, you know what? Here, we would also have to copy this and do it for BG2 so that they move together. I need to do it on the left and right. And I kind of guessed on the number, so we'll just see. Right. Oh, look, they're right on top of each other. So this is the first image, and this is the second one. So we could just take uh, BG2 and scoot it over. Uh, let's try a thousand. Okay, so it's getting close because the big butterfly is at the end, so maybe 1200. Uh, this number depends on where the edge how big the first image is. So there's my big butterfly. There's where things start repeating. And like my sky's off a little bit. But everything else looks okay. I wonder why the two skies are a different color. Oh, I know why. Because uh, the left side of the sky, right here, is darker than the right side of the sky. But if you're making your own background images, it won't matter. Or if you're borrowing some some clear ones. The other thing we could do is uh, we could just uh, paint this background. Well, that didn't work. I was hoping we could just uh, get rid of the entire background completely. That's uh, not going to work, but I'll just do a rough version. Delete all that. Now let's run it and see what it looks like. Ooh, 
that's weird. Okay, so don't do that. Uh, but hopefully this gives you enough at least to start with.